for sizing the cable tray properly, we need to know the following information about the cables which will be installed above the cable tray. 1. The start point and the end point of the cable, which means the locations of both source and load. 2. Location of the source and the end point of the tray. 3. The arrangement of the cables on the tray based on the load's locations. This is for avoiding any crossing between the cables. If in all cases we have crossing, so we need to remove these cables which makes the crossing and install them on a new layer of cable tray. 4. The operating voltage of the cable, for example up to 0.6 over 1 kV. 5. The material type of the cables is the copper or aluminium. Also, the insulation types for the conductors and their outer sheaths of the cable. 6. Armoring type of the cable, like steel tape or steel wire. 7. The cable's number of cores and their cross section areas as per the load requirements, as per the approved shop drawings. So, from all the previous information, we will check the cables category we cover all diameter of each cable. Also, from the same table of cables, we can find the ampacity of the cables, which is the continuous maximum current which the cable can carry at its maximum operating temperature. But the value of ampacity, which is mentioned in the tables, are for ideal case of installing the cables. Like, the ambient temperature around the cable is 40 degrees Celsius if it's installed in free air. Or the ideal conditions for other installation as shown in this table for cable ampacity. But in normal cases, we shall apply the rating factors to get the correct ampacity of the cable as per the installation conditions. We have multiple de rating factors, around 9 de rating factors, but for the cable tray installation, we will care about the rating factors from the cables manufacturer in tables 3 and 6 and 9 and 10. As shown in table 9, we have three cases of cables installation. The first method is installing the cables horizontally on a perforated cable tray, which is our case. The second method for installing the cables on vertical perforated cable tray. And the last method for installing the cables on cable ladders or cable cleats. These are the values of the rating factors based on the number of cables installed on the same tray in case of installing how many trays in parallel. While the values in table 10 are used when installing single core cables not multi-cores.